Okay, so in this tutorial, what we want to do is we want to actually take all these multi passes that we've generated in Arnold uh, 2018 and um, composite them together. Okay, so um, let's just go and have a look at, you can see the, 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 the final image here. So now, in order to separate out all these different uh, channels that we have, so we've got all these different channels here, we've got our different lights that we've got in our different channels here. In order to separate those out, uh, what we need to do, or in, in order to use them in our comp, what we need to do is where we're using them, we need to move these into the main RGB channels. Okay, so the way that we do that, because at the moment the main RGB channel is just taken up by the beauty pass, okay, which is not what we're using. So the way to do that is to use something called the shuffle note. So I'm just going to add a dot here just to kind of keep things clean, okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a shuffle node, okay. And what the shuffle node allows us to do is I can go in here and I can select a channel. So I can say, right, I want uh, diffuse indirect. OK, and now what will happen is this diffuse indirect channel will be sent out of the RGB channels. OK, so let's have a look what we've got. OK, and you can see there we are. We've got it's coming out of our diffuse. OK, now to help us, I'm just going to give this a name. So I'm going to call it ball uh, underscore uh, diffuse. Okay, uh, and then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do this for the other channels as well. So, and I just do this by going, going uh, adding a dot. Ooh, sorry, if I just go dot, connect that. Didn't want the other dot there. And then what I'm going to do is just go tab, shuffle. Okay, and next one I want to do is I want to shuffle out. Uh, so the last one was the diffuse indirect. This one, what I want to do is shuffle out the um, uh, the uh, specular indirect, okay? Because that's be the specular light on our ball, okay? And I can just check that. So look, yep, yeah, that's the specular light on our ball. So I'm going to call this ball specular, okay? Then I'm going to do the same for the floor. So I'm just going to add another dot. Connect that like so. Let's just move this, make it a little bit neater. And again, shuffle. Oh, I can spell shuffle correctly. Okay. And this one is, uh, so in this one, I want the, um, uh, I want the indirect diffuse. Okay. And I'm gonna call this the floor diffuse. And here, I'm going to just connect this up. And I'm going to go and again add in the shuffle node. And I'll just call this one. Uh, this is going to be the floor specular. Okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. Floor specular. Um, yeah, so this is going to be the floor specular, and then what I'm going to do is um, add the, yeah, I just need to shuffle this across, don't I? So I just need to go into here, indirect specular, okay? Uh, let's just have a look at what outputs I'm getting here, so make sure I get the right thing, yes, and what else? Yes, that's correct, that's what I want, okay. Finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the shadow diff uh, uh, pass. So I'm just going to go uh, again, shuffle. Uh, you can see it's important to name these because otherwise when you're working your comp, you're really not going to know what they are. If they're all just called shuffle, it's not really going to make any sense. So shadow uh, diff. Okay. And what we're going to do is shuffle the shadow diff to that uh, uh, channel. Right. Okay. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to simply add all of these together, okay? So um, what we want to do is just simply use a plus node. So I just want to use a plus node, and we're just going to literally connect that to that, okay? And you can see what we're doing is effectively adding the node, adding, adding it all together. So I'm adding the reflection here and the diffuse here together to get this. And then if I just keep going, plus... Da, 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 da. Okay, 
I'm getting, uh, so here I will get, uh, you can see I've got the diffuse on the bottom here. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go and add this. Oh, here we go to here. Uh, if we're adding, so it shouldn't matter which way the A and the B go. So even though I've got it a different way here than I have on the other ones, it shouldn't cause a problem. Uh, there we go. And what I'm going to do is just leave this shadow diff out of the way for the moment, and we will talk about that later. So now that we've got this, what we want to do is we want to merge this uh, with our final, uh, with our background plate. So let's pull in the background plate. So I'm just going to bring in a read node, um, and I believe, let's have a look, uh, it should be in image sources, it's a TIFF open it up there's our background plate okay now I want to do an A over B but if I look at the uh, actual output that I'm getting at the moment um, and I look at the alpha channel okay you'll see that I'm not getting anything sensible in the alpha channel what I need in the alpha channel is this okay so I need to move the alpha channel from this into this okay so what we're going to do is we're going to use something called copy shuffle uh, sorry shuffle copy okay so I'm going to uh, click on this and go shuffle copy Okay, and what this does, if we look at the uh, configuration of this, what this allows us to do is actually take some of the uh, say some of the inputs from uh, the channels from input one, and some of the in, uh, inputs from channel two uh, to result in an in an output. So in this case, this is kind of already configured for us if we use it in the right way. So this is going to take the RGB values from input two. So I'm going to zoom in here so you can see it from input two here. And this is set up to take the alpha channel from input one here. And what will happen is it will put those together into uh, an output that will come out of here. OK, so what that means is I, I want to I'm going to add a dot so that I can take another copy of this video. Uh, hopefully you're happy with the idea that this is all the same video coming here and the dots just allow us to kind of tree off the video. So what I want is this is the video with the alpha channel we want. So that's going to go into input one. Ooh, let's try that again. OK, and then this uh, and then uh, this, sorry, the output here is actually the uh, all the passes put together, OK, to create the um, uh, all the passes put together to create the uh, uh, yeah, all the passes put together uh, with the RGB. So we want the RGB values of that. So we put that there. So now if I look at this, I've got the alpha channel that I want, plus if I go into RGB, all of these things composited together. Okay. Next thing I want to do is use the merge node. So I'm just going to go click on this, press M, so I get a merge node, and I'm going to do an A over B. So A is the ball going over B, which is the background. So let's connect that up, and let's have a look at the final output. And you can see we've in our final output we've got a really nice composite here, and it's shining on the floor, and we've got our shadow here. Now. Let's look, have a look at the shadow uh, difference node, okay? Um, with the shadow difference node, what we can do is I can bring, I can kind of cancel out that shadow if I want. I can kind of use it in a couple of ways, actually. So it's kind of interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the um, plus node, okay? So I'm just going to create another plus node for the moment. And again, it doesn't matter which way round I do it. And I'm going to connect this up. And then this is going to connect through here. OK, great. So what's happened then is this shadow then has literally put, it's kind of replaced the shadow with whiteness. OK, uh, now if I actually, uh, and you can, if I just have a look at the shadow difference layer, uh, so I'm just going to quickly look at that. You can see it's whiteness, and you can see by adding the whiteness on here, as you'd expect, I get whiteness in our overall result. Now, that's not particularly useful or desirable, so what we might want to do is actually add a grade node here. So if I select shadow and press G, a grade node gets inserted, and what I can do is I can just turn the gain of this down, so I can actually just completely reduce this. In fact, I'm wondering if multiply is a better option. Uh, Yeah, I can just use the gain. If I turn this down, I get the original shadow that I had. And what I can do is use this to cancel out the shadow. There we go. Okay.